Native Americans are fed up, and I'm one of them. We are close to losing this country. There is a plot to remake America by those who hate America, while everyone on the sidelines is freaking out over political correctness. It is one thing for America to continue to evolve. It is quite another to seek to destroy the very foundations upon which this country was built, to eradicate all that our founding fathers and every veteran since the Revolutionary War fought to protect. Let me tell you about the squad, a benign-sounding high school term that in reality presents a dangerous assault on everything we hold dear. These four freshman congresswomen, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, and Ayanna Presley, are radical socialists who want to punish success and destroy capitalism. They know how to weaponize their hate. And don't you dare criticize them. If you do, they will do everything in their power to destroy you. Or, if you happen to be the president, impeach you if you don't share their radical leftist socialist hate America agenda. And if you don't, you're a racist, a bigot, a misogynist, a xenophobe, or just plain deplorable. Last week, their own Nancy Pelosi was a racist. This week, actually every week since they've been sworn, it's been President Trump. So who are these four women and what have they said? I break it down into two categories, their hatred of America and their hatred of the president. I heard, urge House leadership, many of my colleagues, to take action to impeach this lawless president today. It's time for us to impeach this president. I will always refer to him as the occupant, as he is only occupying space. I support impeaching this president. We're going to go in there, we're going to impeach the They call the massacre of 3,000 Americans by al-Qaeda just something that some people did. At the same time, Ilhan Omar asks a judge for compassion for an ISIS recruit. She blames terror attacks on us because of our country's involvement in other people's affairs. In other words, it's our fault that 3,000 Americans were killed on 9-11, and that number continues to grow as first responders continue to die from the after effects. They're so anti-Semitic that they say congressmen and women who support Israel forgot what country they represent. Cortez actually thinks illegal immigrants, illegal immigrants, are more American than anyone who seeks to keep them out will ever be. She describes contemporary America as garbage. Cortez lies and says that detention facilities at the border are concentration camps, that America is deliberately traumatizing children, and that illegals are forced to drink toilet water. All debunked, all a lie. Presley says the Border Patrol is nothing more than a cog in the machine of oppression. They say that Donald Trump is not the president, but the occupant of the White House. He is illegitimate, and the MFR should be impeached. They call him a racist. They say he's a fascist, a corrupt and inept president that he has destroyed the border with inhumane camps, that the president is a hateful, despicable human being, and that he is responsible for the problems in Venezuela, their socialist dream country. They not only hate America, they hate our ally Israel, the only democracy in the Middle East. They are so adept at manipulating us that even the House of Representatives, including Jews, buckled, not naming Ilhan Omar for her hate speech about Israel and instead voting for a watered-down nothing burger. Now, the president says this is what they stand for. The Democrat agenda is anti-worker, anti-jobs, anti-citizen, anti-family, and anti-common sense. In their plot to remake America, they impose socialism on all of us. Forget capitalism, free markets, individual liberty, and free speech. Say goodbye to law and order. ICE will be eliminated, as well as the Department of Homeland Security. And we need those open borders so anyone can come in. No vetting, just let them all in and you Americans pay for them.
and no worry about the influx that actually is depleting our social services, causing overcrowding in our schools and hospitals. Just give them everything they need to live their American dream, while hardworking Americans like you pay for it. Oh, and did I mention that open borders would allow drug dealers and MS-13 gang members in? After all, they are all children of God, including the 19 of the 22 MS-13 gang members arrested this week in L.A. for the medieval torture and murder of seven people as they literally cut their hearts out in that sanctuary state of California. So come on in. The socialists don't care. Cortez wants to simply print more money, which they'll probably have to do since California just approved almost $100 million to take care of illegals, as well as forcing Americans to pay not only for their own health care, but for the health care of the illegals coming in.